Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Tokyo, Tokyo, Tokyo. Konnichiwa. I finally arrived to one of my dream countries, Japan, and I want to eat, drink, see, explore, experience every vice in this country to give me the virtue that I seek. Made it to Tokyo, Japan. My 59th country. And now all I have to do is pick up my luggage. Just waiting for it. And then I get to see my boyfriend who's on the other side. It's been half a month, two weeks. And now I finally get to see him. I'm so excited. Just on the other side of this wall. Just hopefully I can get my uh, luggage really soon. This is the Tokyo that I've seen in movies, TV, read, and manga. The dizzying electrification of the city running through my veins. This is why we travel. And I want to do it for as long as I live. And for the rest of my life, I want to be spirited away with Yurun, the love of my life. Okay, but how cool is this place? Shibuya Crossing! <laughs> oh, watch out, people. Oh. Konnichiwa, Tokyo. <laughs> On our way to check into our accommodation, since I haven't ate anything since landed in the land of food paradise, Yurun took me to one of his favorite joints. Just one look at the menu, and my eyes popped out in hearts. It's my first meal in Japan. <laughs> Guess who picked me up at the airport? <laughs> He's eating, so don't mind him. <laughs> but I'm really excited to be here, and this meal looks amazing. Of course, we have to kick off Tokyo with a meal. And so, what we got here is beef ribs with black curry egg. So, I've never had black curry before. It's gonna be interesting. I'm just gonna mix it all up. Then we have just an assortment of everything with salmon. Of course we got ourselves a metro car to use the iconic subway system, the best way to get around Tokyo. The Tokyo subway system is one of the largest and busiest in the world. There are 285 stations! I even saw that some subway lines in Japan have women-only carriages running in the rush hour period, normally from 8am to 9am, for safety. I wasn't so overwhelmed by the crowd more than fascinated. It looked like a well choreographed dance going back and forth from trains to station. Even though the metro system is bilingual, it still confuses me. With multiple colors for different lines, different numbers paired with letters, it's like decoding a riddle. Hidden among residences and along a narrow street, you wouldn't know it's there unless you knew of it. It's a very unassuming and humbling location. We are having lunch at Kayora Kuti. There's nothing better than good tempura and Kayora Kuti have mastered it. Their light and crispy coated vegetables are incredible and hand cut very fine buckwheat soba are what they're known for. Kayora Kuti have their own in-house millstone guaranteeing the freshest soba noodles. They're cut by hand and crafted from seeds sourced from Izu and Fukushima, the region the owner is from. You can even see the chefs milling the noodles by hand while you eat. It's a very high quality lunch here and is actually more than affordable, not to mention really delicious. It used to have a Michelin star, but nevertheless, the texture, consistency, and flavor of the soba at Kayarakuti is soba perfection. The broth is served in a little separate bowl and the soba noodles serve cold, made to be wrapped up in our chopsticks and then dipped into the little broth bowl for each bite. The nipora was light and airy and the sauce was very well balanced. So true to form, right after our meal, we got more food. 
And but we're in Harajuku right now, which is kind of like the fashion, cool neighborhood, hip neighborhood in Tokyo. So I'm gonna show you guys around, and first we're gonna dig into these takoyaki balls, which is basically all balls. Stay here, and all the stuff. The focal point of Harajuku's teenage culture is Takshita Dori and its side street, which are lined by many trendy shops, fashion boutiques, used clothes stores, crepe stands, and fast food outlets geared towards the fashion and trend conscious teens. Shibuya is the center of their youth fashion and culture, and the streets are a birthplace to many of Japan's fashion and entertainment trends. After being submerged into the overly frantic energy and wave of bodies in Harajuku, we found ourselves in total contrast, much like what Tokyo is itself, a contradiction, an amoeba, and what appears to be quiet and silence of parks within a city, which we end up in the mother park of the capital, Yoyoki Park in Shibuya. Entering in the 40-foot Tori Gate, it was as if we slipped out of the realm of Tokyo into a place where time doesn't exist. First thing we pass by, these collection of sake barrels. They are called Kazari Daru in Japanese and are a decorative display. They have been donated by sake brewers from all around Japan to the shrine with the sake being used for shrine ceremonies and festivals. This Shinto shrine was built in 1921, destroyed in World War II air raids, and rebuilt in 1958. This shrine is named after Emperor Meiji, who was the first emperor of modern Japan. I won! Wait. Oh, yeah. How is it? Mm, mm. Mm. This, my friend, is the heartbeat of Tokyo. When the lights turn red at this busy junction, they all turn red at the same time in every single direction. Traffic stops completely, pedestrians surge into the intersection of all sides like water spilled out from a bottle. Hundreds of people, and at peak times said to be over a thousand people, cross at a time, coming from all directions at once, yet still managing to dodge each other with a practiced nonchalant agility. Shibuya, literally meaning a stringent valley, is a special word in Tokyo, Japan, a major commercial and business center. It houses the two busiest railway stations in the world, Shinjuku Station and Shibuya Station. There used to be arcades all over North America, but growing up they slowly went out of business. This is the case for Japan, as arcade culture is still alive and well here, with businessmen even coming here after work. How wild is this arcade? Now that if he wins me a Charmander, then I have to carry it throughout the rest of my trip. So that includes the rest of Japan, India, uh, Qatar, <laughs> Italy. So let's see if he can win this. So you have to get that into that hook, into that that hook, into that little circle thing. <laughs> Look, it's staring at me. Charmander or Pikachu? Uh, I like Charmander. Yeah, right? Alright, <laughs> give it three tries? Yeah, I'll give you three tries. <laughs> pressure? Yeah. And no pressure! Okay. Oh my God. Now I know how it works. <laughs> I need that one. Uh, uh. Oh my God, oh my God. Does he take it? Uh, oh what? Uh, what the hell? Let's push it in and out. 
Pedí no, ya. No. Oh. So he didn't win the Charmander. Our little mascot. I know. I mean, I was actually down to carry it around, but okay, we're gonna go grab some sushi to make up for it. Every sushi always solves things until you get into a sushi coma. <laughs> Okay, look how cool this conveyor belt sushi is. So we have our own booth. And then there's this conveyor that goes all around. And whatever we like, we just pick up. When you order it, then it will come in the belt and it will say here, your food is coming. And then choo, 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 and then it, it actually comes here. Oh, that's cool. So that's like custom order. Yeah, it, like if you want something specific. This soy sauce on top? No, that's hot water. And you mix this with, um, with green tea and matcha. Yeah, matcha. matcha. <gasps> they have matcha on top? Yeah. Let's go eat. This is super soft. I don't know what to get yet. Well, let's start with two. Okay. Do we just hide the plates or not? <laughs> they don't. It's all built on us. Yeah, that's a camera. Mm. Oh, there's a new selection. <laughs> Just in time. That was our first day in Tokyo. Give this video a like, leave me a comment, and hit subscribe for more upcoming videos in the land of the rising sun.